but bonita isi ig isi onye isi anyi bu onye isi ohaneze bu kwa nonye ndu nke ndibo nke bu chief john nni anwodo ka obu obi agwa anyi oku dika mbo emeka na ebido emeka nwo otu osi ku oku si na ihe anyi ga eji wepoa na nzuko anyi no tata otu ihe gbara okporokpo deba hambuna anyi ga ma ka esi na akwado maka inwe ndoro ndoro maka inwe election iji hoputa onye ga ewere kwanu ya bu ofo oji na aka ogbu a obu mmadu ka oga ha nyie na aka um etu age si we wepute kwenu onye age si onye aga ha nyie na aka na oga adikwa na obu ku ihe oga be mesi na oga amasi kwa ndi igbo nine no 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 zi ije ma ndi no kwa nuno nne eji ohere na akpo ni tenna ayukwu bu chief john nne anwa odo ka bi koko owolo um onodu ugbu a ka ogwa anyi anyi ncha nine no eba na ndi igbo no no uzo ma ndi no na internet onye obu na ugochara ntia na eche ka omaru ihe oga agwa nne ayukwu udo deregi chief john nne anwa odo Back office, can you unmute him? Uh, may I first of all speak a little bit in English because we have a guest, Hannibal Waifu, who I believe does not understand our vernacular very well. And uh, my courtesies go to you, to Chuku, for your very brilliant uh, coordination of our discussions on the three occasions that we've been on this webinar meeting. I'd like to also thank Emeka Ogoju for his altruism, his foresightedness, ingenuity of his calculations, and his capacity to bring all of us together to look at our past, our present, and make very brilliant projections for the future. I wish I had a template like this when I started, but I think it was very useful to my successor that all these experienced people have put their heads together and put together a number of suggestions for the future. I'd like to thank Okei Ketchupu, his fluence in Ibu is outstanding. I've always known him to be an erudite intellectual. And I thank you, Kate, for your depositions. I have listened very attentively to the English and Igbo versions of the presentation. I am a little excited because it looks to me like in the currency of this tenure, we have greatly awakened the consciousness of Igbos to take more active participation in the affairs concerning our people. It's been a turbulent time, we've seen a general election handled in the most disgraceful manner. We have seen a continuous organization of people. We have seen an angry youth, sometimes expressing their anger in very unacceptable language. And making us more complicated and difficult to handle. Uh, but I am very happy to listen to all the suggestions made. Those that are necessary for me to implement before I leave office, I will rapidly do so. But I also note that a number of the things that you have said, we're already working on, like the stabilization form. Um, what is of interest in this discussion is probably of renaissant interest is the next elections. Um, I must say that the election that gave rise to our assumption of office was very well handled. But I think it became easily acceptable because of its transparency. But I must also give credit to the leaders of thought of Enugu states 
to whom the presidency was zoned to. They had meetings and reached a consensus. And that consensus appeared to have been accepted by the rest of Igbos. And so the election was really not very contentious. I have sold the template to Imo, and I have been informed by Chief Iwanyamu that Imo leaders have thoughts of all political parties and of all ideological persuasions have met and are still meeting. And they intend to present the with uh, recommendations. Of course, their, their resolutions are not binding on the Electoral College. Um, there will still be a vote. And so every candidate is free to stand for election. But I think that everywhere in Igbo society, kindred groups tend to try to see that they reach an agreement on such contentious issues in order to preserve our unity and solidarity. Let's see how this works. In the next few days, we will be announcing the Electoral Committee. The National Executive met on Thursday and has almost finished um, compiling the list of uh, members of the Electoral Committee. They will be totally, totally responsible for the conduct of the election. The National Executive Committee will only be an appeal court. And we don't know how many members of the National Executive will be seeking to be elected to other offices or to their states. And if there are any, they will not participate in any deliberations of the National Executive Committee referred to it by the Electoral Committee. But I do pray that we will have nothing referred to us because it is very clear how the election proceeds and it will be done in open uh, day and uh, watched by all interested parties. So I don't think there's any room for any manipulation whatsoever there. Every state of the seven Mohanese states will hold a uh, congresses in which they will elect their delegates to the election and affiliate organizations will also do so depending on the number of delegates assigned to them. Um, so we're good to go. Uh, thankfully, we have saved substantial resources to finance the electoral committee's work. Um, it was not easy, but we thank God we have. So, but we welcome anyone who is charitable enough to help. Um, I am very, very, very uh, excited to have listened to all that have been said. And uh, it shows me that we are all putting our minds on the Igbo course. I listened to Michael Burge's opening remarks and uh, his recommendation for a political pressure group. Um, I believe this will be a work in progress. In the beginning of my tenure, I appointed a planning and strategy committee. The essence was to distill from it a political pressure group. I was chairman by Dr. Chibumasuludo. And the secretary was Ferdinand Agu, who is part of the signatories to this uh, communique. Um, they've tried their best, but I believe that its leadership has been severely engaged in many distracting endeavors that has made it difficult for it to do its best. Um, my difficulty also is that you have also in your recommendations included a number of legislators and more of you. I, I, it is either that the legislators do not have time for these Igbo meetings or they do not care about it. I visited them and met with them and they told me they would call me back to discuss with me, but they've never done till today and I'm almost exiting. 
Um, I wish that we could all be more intensive, like this, the participants in this webinar discussion, to be selfless and give up some of our time for the sake of our people. I notice a very serious disconnect between our children and ourselves. And you have highlighted it here in your report about mentoring, you know, about uh, Ohaneze undertaking mentoring of youths. But, you know, Ohaneze really cannot become a broad educator. It is only through the stabilization fund that we can revamp some institutions that mentored many of us on this discussion. I give you a few examples. When I was young, I was sent to live with teachers. My senior brother, the first son of my father, lived with Mr. Etiko, a teacher. He lived with Mr. Rafael, a teacher. He told me stories how he had to sleep outside by their kitchen on an occasion that one of those he was living with uh, had a compromising circumstance. And uh, it didn't matter what position my father was in, but it was important that a child be sent to a teacher who would give up in a hard discipline, who would flog him at will and bend his incapacity to respond to acceptable norms. I spent time with Father Eneja. A lot of time. I, I had to wash his car, I had to iron his suit, and I had to accompany him to seek calls and things like that. Quite apart from this, we had the Festival of Arts. And there was hardly any one of us who didn't do a solo recitation, who didn't participate in some plays. And all this literature had moral education in them. It sharpened your diction, your intonation and your capacity for conception of ideas. To be honest with you, a broad majority of our youths do not have this. Many times when I talk to them on mentoring speeches, I remind them and remind our leaders that Chino Achebe went to a primary, a, a primary school in Native Ogidi, so did a Quincy. And they came out tops in the world. Because the quality of education in every primary school in Ebola, under Azikiwe and Okwara, were as good as the other. I went to a school that my father's driver's junior brother went to. He was my classmate. He ended up a permanent secretary and I ended up a minister. There was no class stratification, it was a matter of how much your internet could push you. I believe that with the stabilization fund coming on stream, we may be able to rebuild some of those missionary schools, some of those private schools, like the ones Albany could do and what have you. And I do hope that the private sector, and here, Mecca, I think you have to start another webinar discussion. We need the private sector to take over the stabilization fund. I don't think governments can handle that. I have circulated the interim report of Professor Wu's committee to all our governors so that they can make their input before we hit the ground. But you know, even getting them to stick together to meet on it has been a very Herculean task. And I, I thought that it would help the stabilization for if businessmen know that our governments can guarantee accessibility to land, accessibility in terms of road and infrastructure, so that when they make investments, they are sure that there's security for their investments. I do hope that they will soon do something about it. Because when I traveled to Port Harcourt with Governor Mai, who is the chairman, he assured me very vigorously that they were working hard on it. So, they can do no 
Father, President General Hanazian, open the book of the book here. And by your chubuka, I may not do. When I will put a bofobi, may I not do. Ogama, no do dollar beer, can the buy a ship where. Ogama, and the buy a year arrow. Or the quo, or the quo, nekute, open nekuti fe, bona, nera can be bonnet as you look for your shire to be found. Oblivana Sunevi was not the very humbling. The Manoyan Nazi was in Jupa Bawambo. On our buncheta, Bunusi were quite dumb, Nijanja, on a Jumafo, a quadrum negro, Manaqua dulum, Nijoko, on your yol jela and use your jay, or massy the cigarette on a Jumafo, a Jumafo in there. And then my young car, get a chunk of book. I eat in the air, it will be a similar kind of an issue at all. Oh, you move your hand is it may go. Now, it's a good book. One way see now, you know, no boy, you go. We are not to open a campaign and blow hundred naira a month. A neighbor on the booby now. If you do a bona or parochial organization, just town unions and so on. Now, if I got agents, na I collect a go. And now, again, we find a name in their parochial organizations as commission for a go. I need a go website, it will be the last week. Website, I got a print receipt on your own. I do a go. I got a name with a number receipt. Once you go. Now, bo. Agane go see Benya we go Banyal. Agane go see go na atota. So no ga bande mad will be itwea. And ye we kui fana po bronze membership, diamond membership, and gold membership. Ndi abonde akas li ke gane we pute go na atunye. Fatunye o haneze itia fa membership paf. Bosa wana atol. E i ukwasi o mu. Nandine nyaka ki bo gaba e mutendi di efke etwa. 
biko dalo no so na nkata ojuru ma afo no no nyem ofere ka nkwa mu bloku dalo no re thank you very much uh, thank you very much once more um na yuku abu na anyi geva di ke ise eku eto oku mmanu eti ode anwunta na ata godi mmadi na ora ora mam ora aku nwia aka maka na ana abu ana ka e ino mmadi ga abu ke kata asim na amarom na otutu ni mai ga si na odi za ko chichi ga agu na agu mana ai bu ndi na akwanye ndu soro ugu onwa na abu ka ofo mana onwa na abu abu diki isi ugu anyi na enwe nchekube na ihe di uku kageme and anyi nwe kwa nchekube na age enwe a very peaceful transition now on that note to deepen the conversation uh regarding those that will lead or haneze njenje media tv will be organizing what um they would call um know your candidates so all those you know vying for the pg ship or the presidency of haneze in the next couple of days uh, they will be coming on njenje media tv live for discussions and for them to basically tell us what they are bringing to the table on that note we have one question uh, here and that that question is from njideka kanu i think um you know i will put this question out there but maybe our father chief john nyamwodo could help us answer this question he says why are all the key leaders of ohaneze all male the female are not well represented. Uh, partly, I think this question has been, you know, somehow was addressed in the in the last um, two sessions. But you know, for the benefit of the fact that it has been asked here, can we quickly uh, do justice to that question? Then we can proceed. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Um, the of England, he who dares wins. Leadership cannot be thrust on you. You have to wedge out leadership. The fact that a woman does not in any way disqualify you from leadership. You can't sit in your house and somebody will present you leadership. If you are an evil person, you know you have an evil organization, find out how to be part of it. If you're a youth, you should join the youth branch. If you are in a state, you should join your state branch and attend these activities. By so doing, you get acclimatized to the activities of the and now become prominent in it. So don't stay back. I, I do hope that you get involved in the electoral committee, announce this procedure of nominations, and if you want to be an someone, and you can buy from any of the positions up to your state. Second, it is not true that women are not participating. A lot of women, young and old, are participating. During the COVID early days, for instance, in Nubia, we had a gathering of youths and we distributed a lot of COVID relief materials to them, which we got from a lot of them, as well as fertilizers enabled those of them who were into gardening and farming to use. And uh, I, was, I was very excited to see the enormity of young girls. There were almost more than them who were participating in this. With regard to the elders, I mean, that was the women wing. The head of the women wing is Mrs. Nemafo. Mrs. Nemafo is very happy. Response to married woman from Abia State. Her husband was dead before 
she herself was a top civil servant and ended up as federal commissioner. And she served out her tenure and is in retirement now. And her children are a perfect example of what she is distinguished in quality and education. Now, we have Mr. Shaziki, you have been part of many of our activities. The other day, I went to Tobacco to the company of Ian uh, and then the company of Professor Joy Ezilo. You know, uh, this uh, eminent man in our society. I mean, the one has been minister, the other one is a professor, but has headed many uh, voluntary agency organizations that have uh, tried to give skill acquisition to our youth and accessibility to foreign encouragement in their various activities. So, um, the room is wide open, and I, I do hope that. You should be one of those beginning for a lot of young people to become part of this executive. You know, in this executive that is outgoing, we have a hybrid of young people. My, my deputy is a retired deputy inspector general of the city of Nawara. Now, we have vice chairman from states that do not have president general and deputy president general. In Delta states, our vice president. It's not to be where the is the head of Aki Kenga in in um, in uh, Abia State. Our vice president is a retired commissioner of police Deka. in Anambra. One of you in Lagos, uh, Charles Odumukwe, is the vice president. Our legal advisor from Anambra is. It's not the case of Nigeria. Our treasurer is a chartered accountant from Delta. Our deputy advisor is the attorney general of the point states and served the one of the federal commissions at some point in time. So we, we have upped the quality of people on the table, and we should, under no circumstances, reduce it because it makes the quality of discussion very high. I hope that I have uh, satisfied you in my response to this question. Thank you very much for that uh, wonderful response. I think uh, the feedback and the response is honestly more than enough. And uh, we have in the next five to 10 minutes, we'll be rounding up and we would want, want to use this opportunity for feedback and for the panelists, if any of us want to make any comment or any submission, please, you have to use the uh, uh, hand button where you can raise your hand and you'll be called upon. Ha, la, 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 la.